All right, what's up guys? Sean Ames here from Heart of America FPV. Let's get this uh, DJI stuff out of here for a minute because today we're gonna talk about racing. Not just any racing, but serious, hardcore, top tier, fast dude racing. Yeah, I've been trying to get faster. I wanna get faster so bad I wanna get faster. <laughs> it seems like the better I get, the less happy I am with where I'm at racing. And uh, this week I, I sent Evan Turner a message and said, hey, I wanna get faster. What? on earth do I need to do to become a faster drone racer? He gave me a bunch of really great tips and encouragement, you know, really helped me out a ton. He does uh, a lot of simming and invited me to get in on their training camp in the evenings when they're doing that. But the big thing that I've always kind of had in the back of my mind, I actually made a video about this before this channel even existed. I put it out on my family vlogging channel, but unfortunately it was kind of a poor implementation of it. But he suggested and he says that his secret weapon is having a throttle cap on his radio. He obviously doesn't fly Tyrannus. He is a Spectrum sponsored pilot rocking the iX12. So I'm not exactly sure how he sets up his throttle cap on his radio, but he does use throttle caps. He even showed me several different DVR examples and what he'll do, what he's been doing on the global qualifier. When he first starts out, he puts a severe throttle cap, like 70%. He might even go lower than that. He might even do like 60% for the first pack so that he can really hunker down and focus on getting nice, smooth, clean lines throughout the day he works on ramping that up. He showed me one video. I think he got a sub 34 second top three consecutive, which is still the best in the world with either an 80 or a 90% throttle cap. The thing is, is less is absolutely more. Unfortunately, having all of that power literally at our fingertips can get us in a lot of trouble to where we're not taking good lines. And it doesn't matter how much speed you have on a straight, especially on like the global qualifier track, the amount of speed you have on the straight is nearly irrelevant if you're blowing out all your corners and not keeping things tight. So yes, a throttle cap is super important. So my last video I worked and I put a throttle cap, I had put it on a pot. So like all the way up was 100%, all the way down was like 80%, that kind of thing. So the problem was to put it on a slider like this, what I was doing was actually losing resolution. So if I was on 80%, then zero throttle was actually 20%. So I'd arm the quad and it'd be like, I'd arm the quad and it would be kind of going crazy because it was at 20%. So like it didn't compact and that kind of thing. So now you can do this several different ways. Joshua Bardwell has a really good video. It's what I referenced to get mine set up. If you only wanted three positions, like let's say you wanted to do 80%, 90%, and 100%, you could do that with one switch. I wanted to have more than that, so I'm using two switches in tandem to accomplish this. But let's first kind of look at what it takes to get this set up. The first thing is on your throttle here, you can see I have essentially nine different throttles set up on my input. So I've got my main throttle that's set up, which is the one you currently have. And to do this, you actually go in, you would long press enter, and, and select insert after. And then down here, you can actually see the percentages there. So 95, 90, 85, 80, 80 75, 70, then I go 60 and 50%. So like my lowest throttle cap is 50%. But the neat thing, let me back out of here. If I put it on 50% throttle range, you can see here zero is zero. And if I move the throttle at all, it starts moving. So I haven't lost any resolution, but if I go all the way to the top of my throttle, now I'm at 50%. You see that it's moving from 0% all the way up to 50%. So I still have the full travel of the stick. I'm actually gaining resolution between 0 and 50% because normally 50% would be around there. Wow. So I'm actually, I'm gaining a lot of, a lot of travel, a lot of resolution there. Let me put it at full, full blast. And you see, I'll go into how I have the switches set up in a second, but this would be 60%. This would be 70%, I believe. This is 75%, 80%, 85%, 90%, 95%, and 100%. A lot of options there, but let's dig in here. We'll go menu, page, 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 until we're on the input screen. Essentially, these are all different throttles, but then we're allowing OpenTX to decide which one is actually activated. So you can see there that right now, 100% is activated. Now 95% is activated. 90 is activated. 85%. 
percent is activated 80 75 so forth and so on let's look at how each one of these is set up we'll start with the 80 percent when it's probably the best example inside of here you've got weight and offset weight on a normal 100 percent range is going to be 100 and then offset is typically zero so the way this works is the weight and the offset need to operate in tandem with one another what needs to happen is once you set your weight then you use the offset to make sure that zero is zero and 100 is now 80. Uh, let's look and see what would happen if the offset was at zero. Um, we'll back out. We're going to activate the 80% deal and then we'll page over and take a look at this real quick. Now you can see when my throttle is all the way down, it's at negative 80 instead of negative 100. It's actually like 10% higher than zero. And then if I go to 100%, it's actually 10% higher than 80%. So anytime you adjust the weight, it's bringing the bottom in and it's bringing the top down half. We want to shift it down and to do that we're gonna use the offset function is what shifts it down so you can see right there's at zero and the bottom isn't all the way at the bottom but as we bump down the offset this bottom star is moving closer to the bottom negative 20 is gonna get it done so weight number and the offset number needs to equal a hundred kind of obviously negative 20 plus 80 doesn't equal a hundred but 20 plus 80 would if you look at all these different throttles um, they're set up that way so 75 is going to be negative 25. 70 is negative 30, so forth and so on. That's what you need to do. Whatever you want those steps to be, you could adjust those. And if you wanted, really, you don't need to do any of this mess. You could literally set down before a heat and go into your main throttle and just make these edits here and you'd be good to go. You don't have to have them on a switch. I did that for me just so it's easier. But let's see how long it takes to give ourselves an 80% throttle cap. So negative 80 negative 20 there we have an 80 percent throttle cap so this doesn't take long if you wanted to do it on the fly it's just uh it's fun to have sweet switches that do sweet things so the next thing is how do we get these switches operating each one of the things and if you see over here the l's l1 l2 l3 l4 all the way up to l9 those are logical switches so let's look in here first edit and if you go down to the bottom of this screen you can see that switch is set to logical one if you only use three on one switch, you could actually just make it blink and then select the switch as you want it. As you can see, so now this switch is in the up position, this throttle is activated. But I wanted to have more options than just three. What I'm gonna do here, and you can't do this out of order, we're technically doing it out of order. What you would do is long press on enter, go down to logical switches, and then now you can select which logical switch you want to control it. Logical one is the correct one for 100% throttle. So there we go. But before you can even do that, I don't think the logical switches will even even work to select them until you get the logical switches set up. But let's see what that takes. So you hit menu, page, 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 over until it says logical switches. Go figure, huh? Logical switches. This is a little complicated. You really have to get your head around it, but it's not super crazy. And to do this, just an example, I'm down here on logical switch number 12. I hit enter. I hit enter again to make this blink. And I want to go up until it says and. And then right here, if you make it blink, it's just like normal settings. You make it blink and then you put the switch in the correct position, hit enter, and then let's bump over again. And we do that to the other switch. So now what this means is that when switch A and B are both in the up position, logical switch 12 is gonna be activated. So that's the way that this works. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out. We'll back all the way out of here and uh, we're gonna head into a different model because I don't have this currently set up on my Crossfire rig. So, all right, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna kind of officially end the video now, but then we'll roll into kind of a live video of me setting this up from start to finish on a new model. I just wanted to get you guys all that information. It was kind of out of order in the first part, but if you're super familiar with OpenTX, you probably understand how to do it and you've already turned off the video and, uh, and got it installed. Um, if you're newer to OpenTX, then you might wanna go ahead and keep watching this video to see the step-by-step -step start to finish so feel free to do that but guys i hope this helps you out right now it's friday night for me getting ready for a race sunday i know some of you guys are probably going to races tomorrow you might be hitting the global qualifier tomorrow i challenge you to take 10 minutes right now get this set up in your radio so that uh you can give it a shot and then let us know in the comments what you think about it is it helping you have you become a better racer because of this do you have any other radio hacks or just hacks in general that you think we need to be doing to become faster share those in the comments I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to put a link in the description to the craziest thing I've ever seen on Amazon. Be sure and click that. Do some shopping while you're there. That helps me out. Use the Heli Nation links in the bottom of this video. Those help our chapter out. But guys, we're going to catch you next time on Heart of America 
FPV later. Or, I mean, you can stay and watch the start to finish thing. Yeah. Now that we're in here, let's go ahead and do the logical switches first. This is going to take some time, so hang with me. Uh, it will be worth it. I have some old logical switches here from Quad Select. So let's get rid of them. Clear. There we go. All right, so logical switch one. We want this to say and. There we go. And we want this to be activated when switch A is up and when switch B is up. So there we go. Logical switch one, hit exit, go down. Do this again, we want this to say and, there we go. And this switch, we're gonna do the same A position, but then the B position is gonna be the middle spot. So exit, exit, go down, make that blink, go up to and. All right, we want switch A to be in the up position switch B to be in the down position. So let's keep going. We'll do all of these just so you can see the complete process. Make that blink, go up to and. This time we're gonna do switch A in the middle position. There we go. Hit exit, go over, and then switch B in the top position. Okay, exit, exit. All right, logical switch number five. This time we want switch A to be in the middle position. Oop. Switch B to also be in the middle position. Okie doke. Logical switch number six. We want switch A to be in the middle position. Oop. And switch B to be in the bottom position. So you see how we're working through this? All right. Number seven. This time we want switch A to be in the bottom position and then switch B to be in the top position. Good job. <laughs> All right. Obviously, feel f if, you get the, if you get the gist here, feel free to fast forward through this, goodness gracious. All right, so switch A in the bottom position. Switch B in the middle position. Wow, there's 64 possible logical switches. That's a lot. We're not gonna do all of them, I promise. This is the last one. So uh, for number nine, and we want switch A in the bottom position and switch B also in the bottom position. So now we have nine logical switches set up. Now we'll go into that inputs page. Okay, and under throttle, we're gonna insert after. And then we can go ahead and set this up if we want. So I'm gonna do 95 and then an offset of negative five. And then down here on the switch, I'm gonna long press, go to logical switches. And this one I actually want to be logical switch number two. So you can see that there. All right, so that's the, that is the throttle, the second throttle cap essentially. So um, since that one's set up, I can go up to my 100% uh, setting and I want this one to be logical switch one so there you go so the first two are set up um, select the 95 and we'll insert after this one we want to be 90 so we'll do 90 and then an offset of negative 10 good deal and then long press logical switch number three <laughs> <laughs> this kind of stuff is absolutely a war of attrition. So that one was 90. Now we want to do 85. And guys, these values are just kind of what I came up with. Oop, and we definitely want to do negative. I almost went positive. Um, these values are what made the most sense for me. Honestly, you could have them be whatever you want. So um, this one we need to be logical switch four, I believe. Let's see. So we got one, two, three, number four, good deal. We're advancing nicely. So long press, insert after. I just really wanted to show the complete process of this, just so you have it, ne or a weight of 80, an offset of 20, 
And this one is logical switch number five. Okie doke. And while you're on the screen, you can test it. You see if it, when it's activated, it gets emboldened. So we'll insert after, we're getting close. This time we're gonna do 75. And an offset of negative 25. And then long press, logical switch, number six, I believe. Back out, back out. Yep, that works. And then long press, insert after. Um, this time we're going to do 70% throttle cap. So weight of 70, offset of negative 30. The bam. Long press, logical switch number seven. Cool. There we go. That one's good. Insert after. Um, instead of going to 65 here, I go down to 60. I think once you get this low, you can make some big adjustments. So a weight of 60, an offset of negative 40. Cool. Logical switch number eight. And last, let's test it. Okay, there we go. Last and not least, our final throttle cap position is going to be 50%, which is going to be a weight of 50. And an, oop, an offset of negative 50. Logical switch number nine there we go so you see okay, full stick travel those kinds of things so